What's up guys, this is Autobotycon97 back with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers War of Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. The Catwoman of Transformers herself in the true updated generations fashion. Now as you can see, this is based off of the the season one design of Black Arachnia from the original Beast Force animation. And as you can see, it's replicated here very, very beautifully. All the way down here to the to the back section here, which we'll which we'll take a look at once we once we transform her into her spider mode. And you can see here some details here. Like the some spire eyes here on the on the back of her head, and and it this this just screams the original Black Arachnia here, because she definitely looks look like she stepped right out of the animation, because she, she's like the miniaturized MP43, yeah, the official MP43 Black Arachnia here. Because you can see the details are really nice and replicated here, even from the masterpiece figure itself. You can see the, the Black Widow crest right there on the top of her forehead here. You got the, the, the different color here for her mouth. You got the spider spider texture here on her breasts. You got a nice predicon symbol here in the middle. And and these spider legs realistically very creepy and as you can see you, you can see how really realistically textured they look even though you feel them they as though they were real life spider legs because uh because we saw in the every single toy of the kingdom toy line that the that robot modes for the Beast Force guys maybe maybe as animation accurate as possible, but their Beast modes are taken have taken a, a more of a realistic look, and Black Arachnia is no exception here. And again, moving on to the, the details here, you can see her arms with, with the really the, that spider-like hands. You got these spider eyes here in the crotch and you can see she's holding her good her iconic crossbow blaster and with, with with this color here with the main gun the main section of the gun being on, on the lighter brown and this section uh, being the the anchor itself being the the yellow color not much like the rest of the figure itself and again, the and the legs, and again those realistic look, the realistic looking parts of the spider, really, really makes her really nicely detailed and amazing. And you can see here her her feet again, very accurate to the original animation. But what's not that accurate at all are the colors here. Actually, the proper colors here are definitely black arachnias, with with the with a mustardy yellow, light yellow, and a little bit of black. What are her missing here, from for her, in terms of her screen accuracy, are the purple feet and the golden legs for the spider. So again, again, these are the because they are the generations figures of these guys. So they are supposed to be smaller than that, but uh, but again, but again, animation accurate looking robot modes and realistic looking beast modes. Now that's what the part is for the Kingdom line when it comes to the Beast Wars guys. Now in terms of a size comparison here, here he is next to Voyager class Optimus Primal. If you haven't, if you haven't watched this his video review already, check out, check out the tag right there. And as you can see here, Black Arachnia here and Primal, 
really fit in the skill really nicely. I mean, I mean, Primal is supposed to be bigger than Black Arachnia because she is a spider and he, and he's a gorilla. But again, like I said, Primal really is a solid figure too. And, and Black Arachnia is also no exception here. In terms of the articulation for her robot mode, her head is on a ball joint here. She can look up and down. She can look left to right. Her arms can rotate all the way around. Again, they move in, in and out. And you can also articulate her these these spider legs, if you, which you can also do that here. I'm going to do this on one side here. You can, you can recreate those machine gun spider legs right there. Which is really, really cool. And you can fold them all the way in the back, as I would suggest, or even the instructions would. She, she got the well, bicep swivel. She has the single joint at the elbow no hand articulation no waist articulation either she could kick a little bit high due, due to her crotch plate right there and but she could kick back that far which is really nice and can the arms here out of the way and she and she can do the split where in terms of words of Javi the Hong beautiful spread <laughs> And we have then we have then we have the thigh swivel right below the hip and then we have the bend at the knee and her also her knee armor can also articulate for the transformation and also her feet much like on every single Warper Cybertron figure are on the ankle tips so in terms of the articulation, she's she's a little bit limited, but uh, but her poseability is enough so you can recreate some of the iconic poses that that we saw her in the Beast Force series. Now in terms of her transformation here, she she shares a lot a lot of the similar engineering to what we got with her official masterpiece release here so to transform her again obviously we have to take out the accessories here then what we're going to do here is going to rotate the hands around like this and then take the back section here get the, these legs out of the way and unpeg it from here and flip this act section up and take this take her head and her breastplate here and and a, and a warning a little bit of warning here much like Cheetor here I don't own Cheetor but I've seen the reviews of it uh, where, where Shepatron as would term would say the peg of doom here on her breast underneath her breast actually where there was a peg right there I tried to snap her when I was first transforming her it rip right off and a similar case would happen to Cheetor Cheetor here when it comes to his robot mode but it's not that big of a deal though you could still transform her perfectly without that but but just to let you know but again now we have now we have her head and her breast like this we're gonna take this entire back section here and cover her head up like this and again, very similar to her masterpiece counterpart. The real spider head. Spider head is actually underneath her crotch. And unpeg it here just a little bit. Just a little bit right there. And there you can see the real spider head. These means spider head and and also while while you're at it, compress 
this. We'll take tuck the tuck her head underneath. So what her crotch was, like so, and then you can cover her cover her entire breastplate up like this. So it should be something along the looks lines of this. Now take her arm assembly here. It's on a swivel joint here. And unpeg it. I rotate it 180 degrees like this. And then collapse it here up. And then fold the shoulders, her shoulders here. Now we're gonna peg her, peg the rest of the body later on once we complete her transformation. Fold, fold her knees here, and there's a little panel right there. Just so shift it up a little bit, and fold her feet underneath, and they will snap in a place like this. So the same thing on the other side. Now what you have to do is to get her legs out of the way. We'll unpack the crotch while simultaneously have to rotate her legs up like this. So they would meet up to, to this part of the spider. So, and then if pegged there, her legs were pegged there like so. You got the main part of the body. Now for her, now for the arms, underneath here where her head is right now, they will, they have a special hole here to fit, fit inside her inside of her feet and they will clip in together like so so there you have most of there you have the, the spider moon now but to complete the transformation like so now we're going to take the gun that we hold restore here much like the masterpiece figure again and you can see some holes here, right here on the side of her arms, side of her hands actually. And these two tabs here on the gun, on the on the anchor, on the anchor itself, will plug onto her, will plug under her wrists, which will a little secure a little bit nicely like this. But it's a, I know it's a little finicky. Where sometimes it can have a process when I try to get line get the line down some of the process pieces can't come undone actually. Just fiddle with it until you get it lined up properly. Oh yeah sorry I had to have the shoulders really properly aligned like this. And there you have Kingdom Black Arachnia in her realistically creepy looking spider mode. And again, very, again, very much like in the toy line itself. 
the I'll just throw the gun on the side for now. And again, much like in the overall toy line here that is for designed for the Beast Force guys always have gonna be the animation anchor looking robot modes and the realistic looking beast modes right there. And as you can see, Black Arachnia here is definitely no exception here. Well, what I was, well, I was mentioning here, the her back section, is basically the back part here, which is which is basically the main body of the spider. And there's some, some red paint here, which do, does represent she she is a black widow spider. And as you can see, her, the really, really creepy red eyes and the and the realistically textured spider legs so so damn creepy and so realistic looking again realistically looking beast modes and animation accurate robot modes for these beast force characters in the kingdom line in terms of the articulation here in in her spider mode you only get gonna gonna get the ball joint and, and legs they each on on the ball joint here. You can manipulate her you want, or you can even how uh, pulls her like this as she is rolling, shooting her, shooting the web from her butt. She's hanging like this, but she's really again very 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 creepy here. Now, in terms of a size comparison here, here he is in her beast mode next to Titan's Return Deluxe Last Top Spin. And as you can see, again, Top Spin in, in, in his robot mode is very big compared to Black Arachnia in her beast mode. Which is supposed, I don't, I don't know if the scale is meant to be like that. The, the beast mode are supposed to be small like this, but overall, I'm overall impressed with with the overall look of the figure. Yeah, yeah, it is not perfect because as you can see some of her her arms underneath, robot mode arms underneath here, you can see her shoulders. If you think that if you think that's her breasts, then you're wrong. That's actually her shoulders. And then you can see definitely her le her legs, her robot mode legs right there, curled up. But but definitely really good looking beast mode and amazing looking robot mode right there which definitely screams the original black arachnia from the animation and and it, and if you and the transformation if if as you already knew as you already saw it's very similar to her mp43 figure i mean her masterpiece counterpart Which is really, really interesting. Like the way the arms tuck like this. And the way the legs curl up here. It's very similar to, to her Masterpiece counterpart. And I would absolutely... Wouldn't be surprised if they didn't remold to give us the, the treacherous spider himself, Tarantulas. Because again, because if you remember in the anime in the Beast Wars, Black Arachnia and Tarantulas were really, really similar in terms of the design, in terms of the in terms of their beast modes, they were really, really similar, and even her ro and even their robot modes were really similar. Even the hands were same, the spider legs were the same, but but in terms of the but in terms of the design in terms of their bodies they're really really different here some some really curious to see how they're gonna remold remold black around yeah, into tarantulas now now I I also know we're getting the words collide for back here with with this mold repainted into her toy accurate colored scheme with the mutant mask on her on her robot bone head which I don't mind, but I'm not particularly interested in that anyway. 
since I'm really more into collect the completing the mainline season one Beast Wars guys. And I know I know I'm looking forward to get Megatron, the Beast Wars Megatron. And I know Dinobots missing two and Scorpion and Scorponok. And 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 if you and if you're and if you're asking me to what version of Rhinox should I get? I would recommend the Thrilling 31 because I think the Thrilling 30 looks better in terms of the weaponry and in terms of the looks. But overall, I highly, highly recommend this figure. Definitely, if you're a big Beast Force fan, or if you're a Transformers fan in general, you should definitely pick this one up. I give it her an eight out of ten because of the Beast Mode imperfections. That's why. But overall, definitely a solid, solid figure. This has been the review of Transformers for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Glass Black Arachnia. Thanks for watching.